Most of people think that whoever can play Tinker has faster hand, sharper mind, and fast response. Well, that might be true, and you know what? You can be like that too, or even better, by training your Tinker every day. This video, I'm going to give you tips on how to be a better Tinker player. For starting item, you need to get these two items. Why healing solve, but not tango? For fast healing, that's my opinion. Get your laser as your first skill. It's a must in every tinker game unless you're a jungling tinker. The reason why you must upgrade your laser at level 1 is to prevent your enemy denying or last hitting. On the next level, you need to figure out which type of tinker style you want to play in early game. Whether it's aggressive style or a farmer. In aggressive style tinker, you need to max laser and rocket. You can farm and harass your enemy with this skill build. You also can easily kill your opponent with this pure damage laser plus a rocket damage. For items, you need to get bottle. Boot of Travel, Soul Ring, and then Bling of Dagger for early game. This is how I kill with my Tinker. First, cast Rocket, Bling, Laser, Rearm, again Rocket, Bling, Laser, Rearm, and then finally Rocket, and then teleport to your base. Easy. Be careful to where you Bling. Do not jump blindly or else you will get yourself killed. Now I'm going to explain you the farmer tinker style. It's easy and safe and all you have to do is maxing your march in early game. With march you can easily clear a creep wave and then you can farm faster. You can also stack the neutral creeps and then easily clear them up with march. There is a bit different in the skill build which you need to up laser at level 1, march at level 2 and 3, rocket at level 4, then march at level 5. At level 6, you need to up that rearm to get a double march in one time. At level 7, up the march and max the rocket for the following level. For item build for the so-called farming tinker build, you also need bottle, boot, and rush soul ring for your extra mana. After that, go finish up your boot of trouble and then get a dagger. After you get boot of trouble and bling, you can farm faster and safe, not 100% safe. How to bling faster? Here is how. Use the shift key. Once you teleport to a creep, hold shift button on your keyboard, click bling dagger, and then click at the place that you want to bling while holding the shift button. And then it will automatically bling to your position that you want. You can also use that shift button for other things. Just play with it, maybe you'll find it useful. Now, for the mid game. After you reach level 16, 17, there is no more aggressive type or farmer type tinker. At this time, you need an Aether Lance, it's for your skill range, including your bling dagger range, so you can bling further than usual. Then, you need scepter or hex according to the situation. If there is a lot of physical attack on the enemy team, then you need scepter. If not, you get a Hex first, before Scepter. With Hex, your opponent will be forever pick. With Scepter, you can make a group of enemy attack miss. And now, for late game, you must already have both of the Scepter and Hex. For the next item, you need to choose for yourself according to the situation. Maybe a Bloodstone, for mana pool, Shiva's guard, shadow blade, or everyone's favorite item. They gone! Here is how I handle late game with my tinker. Hope you can learn anything from it. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. 
Alright folks, that's all for the tips. I hope they help you a lot and make your tinker game better. Go practice with both first before you play in pubs. Practice every day, practice makes perfect guys. Don't give it up. Don't forget to sub and like too. Adios, Ezergout.